guys welcome back to my channel it's been quite a while since i've been here for those of you that are new my name is azalia and i upload videos basically of just about anything <laughs> just an insight of my life the last time that i posted a video was probably about nine months ago or so so i've been mia for a while and i am pregnant so that is basically why I've been so absent from here. Um, the very beginning of my pregnancy was so rough. I am currently, today's Thursday, I am currently 29 weeks today. Um, but yeah, guys, like it's been super, super rough. I have three children. I have a 13 year old, an 11 year old, and an eight year old. So it's been quite a while since I've done this. But this has been by far the hardest pregnancy ever. So on this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys kind of like a life update and everything that's been going on since I've been gone from YouTube. And I'm also getting ready because I do have um, my 3D ultrasound schedule today. So that's exciting. Right now, I'm just going to remove all of my peach fuzz. I haven't done this in such a long time. I haven't done my makeup for most of my pregnancy. I could literally say that I've done my makeup probably about five times these whole seven months. So I am a little excited to do my makeup today. Oh my God, do you guys see all that falling down? That is insane. It's so crazy how much peach fuzz our face has that it's literally not even noticeable also i am going to be eating i'm starving i haven't ate breakfast i'm going to be having a little acai fruit bowl but yeah so i got pregnant in november i was so shocked when i found out um my husband had been wanting to have another child I did too, but I wasn't like 100% um, sure that I wanted that at the moment. I did know for sure that I did want to have eventually, or, or, you know, our last kid. Um, but yeah, like I was super, super, super shocked that I was pregnant. And let me tell you guys, everybody makes it seem like pregnancy is such like a beautiful, amazing thing, which it is. But I feel like a lot of people don't talk about all the um, downside of being pregnant. When I tell you this has been by far the roughest pregnancy that I've had, I was super sick at the beginning, which is why I haven't done shit, like at all. Um, I was so, so sick. Um, I was throwing up, well, not, not from the very beginning, let me go back. So I found that I was pregnant, like it took me a while for it to actually sink in, just because I didn't feel pregnant. With my other three children, I was sick from the very beginning, which is how I found out. Like I started getting very, very nauseous. I was, I was just not feeling good. And then with this one, um, I was fine. Like I wasn't having any symptoms or anything. Um, I was good. You know, obviously I didn't get my period. So that is when I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and take a test. And yep, it came up positive like right away. Um, but other than that, like, I did not get sick. I was not nauseous. I didn't have any symptoms whatsoever. Um, but then once I hit, like, I think once I was, like, two and a half to, like, three months, that's when I started getting all of the morning sickness. Like, I was so nauseous. I was so sick. I even ended up in the hospital. Uh, it, it was just not a good time for me. Like, I was always throwing up. I felt awful. It, it was just crazy. Like, I couldn't believe. Like, I thought, I was like, dang, like, maybe, you know, this time around, I'm not going to have any morning sickness because I did have morning sickness with all three of my kids. So, you know, at the very beginning, I was happy. Like, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't even feel pregnant. You know, maybe this pregnancy is going to go by so smooth because I don't feel like anything. I didn't have any symptoms whatsoever. Um... My skin has been so dry, guys. Like, I, it's, like, flaking. I don't know what the hell is going on. But, yeah, so I didn't have any symptoms whatsoever. And then, like, all of a sudden, I started getting very sick. Like I said, um, I ended up in the hospital. Instead of gaining weight, I was losing weight. 
it was just not a good time at all. And then, um, so that started, like, I, like, you know, the morning sickness started. I was still working. I was just not feeling myself. I was so tired. Like, all I wanted to do was sleep. I still get tired, but, I, like, I have, I think, like, I have a little bit more energy. But at the very beginning, all I wanted to do was sleep, literally. Like, I felt so, so tired. yeah guys like it was very rough um and then like this time around i've experienced things that i never experienced with my other children like they say every pregnancy is different um and like this time around i get very um swollen um i can't be on my feet for too long my back and my hips like they start hurting it's just been rough. It's been rough. I get a lot of swelling, um, especially like down there. I know it's TMI, but I get a lot, a lot of swelling down there, um, and which freaking sucks because it hurts literally when I walk sometimes. Like I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot do this anymore. At the very be beginning of the pregnancy, I would literally tell my husband like. I'm not sure like that I could do this because I was feeling awful like it was so so bad like I literally felt like my body couldn't handle it like I couldn't do it um, but you know thankfully now I am so much better I'm feeling so much better I'm no longer um, obviously throwing up the only things that I'm going through right now is just that I get very exhausted my feet hurt um, that's something that I didn't really have with my other three children. Like, um, you know, obviously I would get a little tired here and there, but nothing like now. Like, I feel like I could barely walk sometimes. Like, I get tired very quickly. My feet hurt a lot. Like, the bottom of my, of my foot hurts a lot. My skin is super sensitive this time around. Like, anything. I can't do shit without, like, something coming up or something happening. Like... This whole pregnancy, I have not been my best at all. Like once one thing goes away, another thing happens. It's just insane. Um, my skin is super sensitive. I could barely shave um, like anything. Like if I shave my, my underarms, I get a bump. If I shave down there, I get a bump. Like if I shave my legs, I get like a bump. It's insane. And my stomach has turned very very hairy and i'm like what the hell is going on like i've never been hairy like this the only thing i can literally wear is just like lotion and just like with no type of like smell or anything no fragrance i'm just like all over the place even my doctor she's like i am so sorry because like i'm just i'm going through it i really am going through it but you know i can't believe i'm already seven months I don't have much longer before I pop this little girl out. Oh, I am having a girl. Um, so yeah, the kids are super excited. My daughter, she is so, so, so excited. Um, she can't wait. She had been wanting a sister for a while now. She got a sister, so. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. Like I said, today I will be having my 3D ultrasound. But yeah, thankfully, even though I've been going through like all these hard things, like myself, my body, baby girl's healthy, she's growing good. And you know, that's all that matters. Like I am very thankful that I haven't had any issues as far as like my actual, actual pregnancy, other than, you know, just issues within myself. Um, but yeah, like I feel like a lot of people don't talk about all the changes that the body goes through and everything that we have to go through to grow like a whole human being. Um, you know, we go through so many physical changes, emotional cha changes, even mentally. Like sometimes I feel like, wow, like I can't believe like I'm like, basically going to start all over again. And then there's times where I'm so exhausted, like I, like I'm just like... 
you know, like I have to mentally prepare myself for like everything that I have to do. Like I still have to try to keep up with the house. I still have to, you know, take the kids to school, pick them up from school, go to their like school activities, go to my daughter's gymnastics, like do everything, make sure that they eat. Like my husband, I love him so much. Like he has been such great help. Like he's always helping me out. You know, the the best that he can like he has seen how bad i've gotten this this pregnancy i i do feel like he has been very very considerate of that so i am thankful for that as well but yeah that's what's been going on with me like just dealing with all this pregnancy symptoms um i will be having a baby shower soon so i will definitely vlog the process of it and just like you know the baby shower itself hopefully like i said my energy is everywhere sometimes i have energy to like do things and when i do have energy to do stuff you know i literally just focus on picking up around the house getting things ready for the baby um so just bear with me i'm trying to get back onto this whole like youtube thing because i do enjoy it like i really did enjoy it and you know, I had like so many ideas and stuff, but when I'm just not feeling it, like I'm just, I don't have the energy. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Like, I can't, I can't do this. But today I woke up feeling great. I'm excited. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do like a little update so I could upload something. I haven't uploaded in a very, very long time. And I'm pretty sure I will be uploading like a lot of baby content when she gets here. I'm just trying to get ready. Her appointment is at three. It's still early. I think it's like about to be 11. I haven't even done my makeup or anything in a while. So I'm just like, yeah. And then my daughter, she's gonna have her fifth grade um, dance tomorrow. She's a fifth grader. She's gonna be having her, her little fifth grade graduation soon. I can't believe she's already about to go to middle school. So after the appointment, I'm trying to go find her like a dress or something nice to wear. But yeah, other than that, the plus side of being pregnant is my skin has gotten so much better. Like I haven't had any acne. The acne that I used to get here all the time, it was hormonal. It was just like all over my chin and stuff. It was not going away. Ever since I got pregnant, boom, it disappeared. Like obviously I do have like a little bit of marks and stuff, but I have not had any active acne ever since I've gotten pregnant. Another thing that my little baby girl has also blessed me with, my hair was falling out so bad like before I got pregnant. Ever since I got pregnant, I have had no fallout at all. Like my hair doesn't fall. Like I said, I've become hairy. Like my stomach is hairy. My legs are hairy. And the fact that it, I my skin gets so sensitive when I shave, like it's a, it's a struggle. Like literally, it's a struggle. But yeah, like my hair has grown so much, um, it doesn't fall out. Like, I don't know what it is. But yeah, those are two things that I am thankful for. Because I was struggling before getting pregnant with both of those things. I was struggling a little bit. Like my acne had gotten better. But you know, I wasn't a, like, I hadn't fully gotten rid of like the acne that I kept getting on this side of like my face. But now, I don't have anything, so. That is great. Um, so hopefully it stays like that, like after I pop this little girl out. I went to my OBGYN appointment yesterday and I got the, I think it's called the Tdap vaccine. My arm is killing me, it's so freaking sore. Like I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, I was sore all day yesterday, so I was hoping that today I would wake up feeling a little bit better and no, my shit still hurts. So hopefully by tomorrow I'm good because it's so annoying. I think I'm just going to leave my eyes like that. It's super simple, but I don't really like putting too much stuff on my face right now because like I said, I've been very sensitive. And then the fact that I haven't worn makeup like for a very long time, how my skin has been right now, 
I'll probably get like some type of reaction or something. So I'm just trying to keep it a little light, just a little bit. But yeah, my due date is August 5th. So we are closed, guys. I'm thinking that she may come a little bit earlier just because my son, Ruben, my oldest, he was born at 36 weeks. And then my daughter and Sebastian, they were both born at 37 weeks. And yesterday I did ask my doctor, like, you know, if she thinks that, you know, this one might come like a little bit earlier just like they did and she said that usually um that does happen if um all three of them were born a little bit earlier then this one more likely will kind of be a around the same time but you never know like every pregnancy is different so we'll just have to see when she decides decides to come but just in case, like, this is why I want to have everything ready. I'm going to have my baby shower June 11. Because if she comes at 37 weeks, I did, like, the math. That means that she would be born around the second week of July. So I still want to have, like, a while to finish getting ready. And, you know, getting any last-minute stuff that we may need. And setting everything up. So that's why I decided to have my shower a little bit earlier this time around. Because... With all three of my kids, like, I felt like I never got to rest. Like, I feel like I was always doing something. I did work for, like, those pregnancies and stuff. So, I don't know. I just felt like I was always doing something. And then, like, towards the end, I was just getting ready. I had the showers. You know, I was all over the place. I felt like I never rested. So, this time around, like, I, I feel so much prepared. Like... We have almost everything that we need. We're just gonna buy like little things here and there, um, but I don't wanna buy anything else until after the shower because I feel like I've done a lot of damage and I've bought a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna wait until the shower, see what I get and then go from there. Um, but yeah, like I wanna have enough time so that way I could have like at least a month to rest. Um, or two to three weeks to just like relax and rest before she gets here because I know that when she's here uh -uh, there's not going to be any resting girl taking care of a newborn is no joke but I am very excited I'm excited to see her I wonder who she's going to look like Cause it's so funny like my boys they look just like their dad and their dad's side of the family my daughter she's the only one that looks like me and like my side of the family so i i don't know like i wonder if she's gonna look like me and like my side of the family just like my daughter does or if she's gonna look like her dad and his side because it's so funny like both of my boys they look nothing like me. They look all like their daddy. And my oldest, he looks just like one of my husband's brothers. So I am very curious to see what this little girl's gonna look like, which is why I'm so excited of like about the 3D ultrasound because like Sebastian, um, I I had a 3D ultrasound with Sebastian and he looks just like the picture. Like literally, if I put the 3D ultrasound picture here and then a picture of him when he was born, like the same exact little face. So that's why, you know, I, like I'm so excited. Like hopefully we'll get good pictures. We'll get to see kind of, you know, her little features and stuff. All I want is a good, healthy baby. So it doesn't really matter who she looks like. I was wondering if she's healthy, but, you know, it's just exciting, very, very, very exciting, oh my god, like, oh my, you see guys, I can't, I can't, this is why I can't have this shit done, okay, so, 
And then every single time that I get up, every single time that if I'm sitting down for a while and then I get up, every single time I could just hear my freaking hips, like they freaking crack. Like I'm telling you guys, like I am so sensitive now. She's so heavy, like, and, it, and you know, the doctor tells me that it's just that the more babies you have, like, you know, your uterus, it kind of gets like, kind of like a little weaker. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know if it's that, that's why I feel like, oh my God, like she's so heavy, but <sighs> like, I, I struggle guys. The struggle is real. Like I said, like my boobs hurt, my back hurts, my hips hurt, my feet hurt, everything hurts. And that's what I mean by like, I don't feel that people really talk about those things in pregnancy. Like everybody thinks it's all like fun and like freaking rainbows and shit but it's not <laughs> let me tell you it is not like you really go through it like the girls that have like um you know great pregnancies and with no issues and stuff wow like that is freaking amazing because let me tell you that is not my case like with all of my kids I struggled and like I said like like um with Sebastian I thought his pregnancy like was bad because from Sebastian's pregnancy, I was in pain from the very beginning. I was sick from the very beginning, um, you know, and so I was like this time around, I was just like, no, it's going to be good because I didn't get sick and girl, I was wrong. Like it, it, it was not good. Like I was just like, nope, this is not it. Um, but yeah, like I said, every pregnancy is different. But the more kids you have, the harder they get. And I think that is actually like, um, you know, that is what the doctors say. Like the more kids you have, the more sensitive your body becomes, the more you feel it, the more painful it is. Because with Melanie and Ruben, as soon as I pop them out, because I have not had an epidural with either of them, so this time around, I was, I'm was i still thinking about it. I kind of want to have one just because I want to get to enjoy it and be a little bit more relaxed. Because I've seen girls that do have, um, you know, epidurals and they enjoy like the whole delivery part. And that was not my case. Like I was in so much pain. Like I was just, you know, getting ready to like just push this baby out. That's it. And with Melanie and Ruben, you know, as soon as they came out, I swear to God, it just felt like a freaking fairy just like freaking swung like a little wand or something and all the pain disappeared. But with Sebastian, it was not like that. Like, again, I don't know if it's because he was like my third baby, but with him, even when I gave birth to him, they have to like take out the placenta and stuff. When I delivered the freaking placenta, like that felt like I was literally delivering another child. Like it hurt. And with Melanie and Ruben, you know, I didn't feel anything. Like as soon as Sebastian came out, I just felt like it was like magic. Like I felt no more pain. I felt great. It was that, like all the pain disappeared. And with Sebastian, no, like as soon as he came out, like I was still in pain. It hurt when they took out the placenta. And then even after that, like I was having so many like cramps. I, I would, and I even asked the doctor like, hey, like, is this normal? Like I'm still hurting. Like I still feel like I'm having contractions. Like it, it was crazy. They say that it's normal. Like the more kids you have, the more painful it is, the more your body feels it, you know, the more sensitive everything is. So I am really hoping that like it doesn't hurt like too too bad after she comes out like i hope if i am in pain hopefully it's the same amount of pain that i felt with sebastian so i could at least be ready and i kind of already know but if it's worse like i'm so scared of that like this is why i'm also thinking about doing like the epidural and stuff because i kind of want to enjoy it. i didn't get to really enjoy my other um deliveries that shit fucking hurt, you know, but at the same time, I get scared of getting the padrone just because I have heard girls that get the padrone and they say that um, they have like back problems afterwards and stuff. And that's one thing that thankfully I don't struggle with. 
I only have back issues while being pregnant, but you know, once I pop the kid out, like I'm good. Like my back has, I've never had like back issues. My back has never hurt or anything. And I have heard girls say that, you know, due to the fact that they got the epidural, that they have like back problems. So that's mainly the reason why I didn't want to get it. And, you know, thankfully like I made it and I didn't get it with either three of my children. My plan was to get the epidural when um, I was gonna have Sebastian, but girl, I feel like my pain tolerance is kind of high. So therefore I don't go to the hospital when I'm supposed to go to the hospital, if that makes any sense. And with Ruben, I got induced. So then with Melanie, um, I went to my regular appointment and you know, my doctor was like, you're already four and a half centimeters dilated or five, something like that. And she was like, so go home, pack your bags, head to the hospital. I wasn't feeling any pain. Like, yes, I was having contractions, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm dying type of thing. So I didn't go. I think we even went like grocery shopping. Like I was walking, I was fine. Like, you know, I was just doing me. And then um, at night, like they did start feeling like a little bit um, more intense um but I was still like nah like I'm good this and that and then no like probably like around I want to say close to like five in the morning um yeah like that's when I told my husband you know what maybe we should get going we still took our time and stuff then we got to the hospital and as soon as they checked me I was already eight centimeters dilated and then they were like what is wrong wrong with you like why did you wait this long to come and, you know, I told him, I was like, I mean, I'm in pain, but it's not like unbearable pain. So that's why. So this time around, like, I'm just, you know, trying to listen to my body. And if they tell me to go, fuck it, I'm just going to go. Because with Sebastian, it was the same thing, you know, like they told me to go to the hospital. I wasn't really in that much pain. So I was just like chilling and stuff. And then quickly, like from literally from one minute to the next, I just felt the urge to push like I screamed I was like John like I feel like I need to push he got so scared like he jumped out of bed we got in the car we didn't even make it to the hospital that I was supposed to deliver at thankfully there was a hospital like 10 minutes away from my house we got to the hospital they didn't even get my name or anything they couldn't get anything like as soon as I went in there I was in so much pain like literally in minutes like the pain became so intense that I could barely talk. I went in there. I couldn't even walk, you know, like they put me in a wheelchair. They put me in there. They got me a room like this. There was not a doctor ready to um, to deliver me because he was delivering some, like another baby. There was a whole bunch of like nurses and stuff. They don't usually let your kids um, be there or see the birth because, you know, they're little. They didn't even have time to take Melanie and Ruben out of the room. Like, Melanie and Ruben saw everything. Um, you know, they were just in the little corner with Juan. There were so many, like, nurses and everything in the room until the doctor was able to come. As soon as the doctor came, Sebastian came out. Like, I, and I kept telling him, like, I want a epidural, I want an epidural. And they were like, I'm sorry, like, honey, like, it's too late. Like, you can't get one. But yeah, like, Sebastian's delivery was literally within minutes. So this time around, I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can. I'm really trying to like listen to my doctor and if she tells me to go, just go. And you know, just experience something different because Sebastian's birth was a little crazy. Like I feel like that was the craziest one of all. That's why I'm just like, you know, like if you want to get an epidural girl, you're just gonna have to listen to them because you always get there when it's too late. You can no longer have one. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, hopefully everything turns out good. <sighs> we'll see if I do end up getting one. I kind of want one. But then my doctor, she also kind of like, she didn't say it, like actually, you know, say, oh, like you shouldn't get one. But she did kind of make it sound kind of like, if you, been able to do three kind of like what's one more that's kind of how I took it um but yeah like so I don't know like my mom my sisters they tell me you already did it with three you could just do it with this last one I don't plan on having any more kids 
my husband's crazy he wants one more and i'm like uh no i'm not putting my body through this anymore like you know i've done it four times and I'm like no like i feel like we're good melanie ruben and sebastian they're already at an age where they're like independent you know they're able to help me um and yeah like i just want to get to enjoy my baby girl and just like you know like with them i was a lot younger and um you know like i said i still worked thankfully my mom or my aunt or my sister were able to like take care of them so like i never had to go through like the whole leaving them with like a stranger and stuff but this time around like you know i just want to focus on my little girl i'm going to be the one taking care of her the plan is for me to you know be a stay-at-home mom I might look for a part-time just in the weekends just to, you know, have a little bit of extra money and just also, um, you know, not just be home all the time. But this time around, like, I really just want to enjoy her and I don't know, like, have, like, a different um, experience because I did enjoy all of my babies. But like I said, you know, I also did work. So my mom is actually the one that got to see um, Sebastian's little, first little steps. And I don't wanna miss things like that, you know? Like, uh, she obviously recorded it and sent it to me and stuff, but it's not the same, like, being there and actually seeing it for yourself. Like, that's what I want this time around. Like, I'm just like, no, like, this time around, I'm gonna stay with her. I don't wanna leave her with anybody, um, you know? And I've worked like for a long time. So ever since like I was younger. So I feel like just taking a little break from work will be okay. And that way, you know, like I also get to um, be with the kids like more. Like, you know, I want them to bond with her. I want to do like more activities with them things like that so i am very excited to see how everything goes and hopefully she's not like a fussy baby because i've gotten lucky guys like i've gotten very lucky like the only baby <laughs> um that would cry like i think the most was Ruben and he was my first so it wasn't really an issue because you know when it's your first baby you're like so like oh like obsessed and stuff obviously you're, you're obsessed with all your kids but I'm saying when it's your first baby you don't even want the freaking wind to touch him you know so like it didn't really bother me that he would cry too much um but yeah but other than that like Melanie and Sebastian they have been very very calm babies melanie she wouldn't even wake up to eat like i would literally have to put an alarm so i could wake up like because if it were for her that little girl would literally sleep all night like she would not wake up like i literally had to put an alarm every two hours to feed her so that way i could get up and i would have to like uncover her to try to get her to, to wake up and even then, like, I would, like, literally take off her little um, onesie and stuff and leave her in a diaper. She would still be knocked out. And, like, I would have to, like, you know, try to, like, kind of, like, move her. And then whenever I would change her diaper, you know, I'm, like, hopefully when she feels, like, the white or, like, feels, like, a little bit of, like, cold air coming in, she, like, wakes up. No, that little girl, up until this day, she sleeps a lot. So... But yeah, and then Sebastian, he was, he wasn't like a, a fussy baby either. He was very, very calm. So I've gotten pretty lucky. So we'll see, like maybe this one, she'll probably be like, you know, like my fussy little troublemaker. Um, but you never know. Or maybe she's, maybe I just get lucky and she'll be a good little calm baby too. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in so long that I feel like I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just like thick of blending and stuff. But yeah, guys. So the yet, the yet.
What else is new? Um, that's about it. Oh, I'm no longer working. That's new. I'm no longer working. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to get like a part time maybe one the baby gets here just like for the weekends because I'm not planning on leaving her with anyone. So Juan, my baby daddy, he um he doesn't work weekends. He's no um he works Saturdays, but he's gonna start taking them off as well. So that way the baby could stay with him. So I don't know. It all depends how big girl is. And how comfortable I feel like leaving her. But as of now, I'm just taking it easy. We're going to have our last little family vacay. Mini vacay because it's going to be only like three days, I think. Um, we're going to go to Florida. We leave June 3rd. And that's going to be our last little vacation as a family of five. The next time we're down there, we're going to be all six. So that's that too. Ow. Yeah, we're going to go to Florida for the kids. They want to go see, um, I think they're called like the Ireland Boys. Um, they're having like a little concert in Florida. And they had came here. We, we live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they had came, but I didn't take them. I wasn't able to take them then, and you know, they said that they're coming. And I told Melanie that we were not gonna be able to go, because again, like my baby shower is like the following weekend. And you know, like I wanna get everything ready. And then, Everything's money, guys. Like, everything is money. So, I told her that we were not going to go. That we were going to go to Florida once the baby's here. But this little girl, she's like, I'm going to ask my daddy. And her dad said yes, like always. So, we booked everything. And we're going to Florida. June 3rd, which I've never gone to Florida in June. And I'm kind of like nervous about it because I have a feeling it's gonna be so damn hot. And like I said, I don't do well with heat. So we'll see how that goes. I might um, vlog that little trip as well. Since, you know, it's gonna be our last trip. So it'd be nice to have um, as memory and stuff. I'm trying to take off the glue of these lashes so I could wear them. I feel so weird. I haven't recorded in such a long time that I don't even know what else to talk about. Like, other than my whole pregnancy thing, there's really nothing new. If you guys know of any little baby things that are like must-haves, you need to let me know because I've I'm all about like researching now like I feel like I do more research now than when I was younger which is crazy why does my under eye look like that like I'm telling you my face has been a little dry lately I don't know if it's because it's the freaking weather is changing and it's so fucking hot outside but my under eyes look a little dry and then like I haven't even put any like skincare on like that ever since I got pregnant just because you know you're not supposed to use this you're not supposed to use that so I'm just like you know I'm just not gonna use shit like I just literally put moisturizer on and that's it but I'm excited to have her and then get back to my whole routine start my skincare again start working out again I haven't worked out since I found out I was pregnant which freaking sucks because I was telling my husband yesterday yesterday that sometimes I feel like going back with like my trainer but my belly is already big like i said sometimes like i feel so tired and then like my back hurts so i'm like you should have done that from the very beginning that way you're like you wouldn't have lost um you know getting used to it and stuff 
and um and he's like no like you should just wait just wait until you have her and then you could go back but I'm so stupid because I, I should have I should just not stop you know I should have continued going and now that I want to go back I feel like I'm already seven months pregnant I don't know but I definitely do plan on going back with her once I have baby girl This is my first time using this um, glue. I got the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe Vera. I usually use the, um, what's the name of the Ardo one, I think it's called. But I saw this one and I was like, I'm gonna try it out. So hopefully it's good. Dang, I put on my lash pretty quickly. That's crazy. I always struggle to put these shits on. Let's see. Oh, wow. This one went on really easily, too. Look at me. I don't know if it's the glue. Or if it's just me. <laughs> but I always struggle to put them on. And nope, they just went on like nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna put some blush on. Blush is probably my favorite thing, like complexion wise. I love blush. I feel like I'm missing something, but I have no idea what. But yeah, I love blush, guys. That's like one of my favorite things. I don't even know what to wear. I think I'm just gonna wear like a dress. That's literally everything I wear now. Like it, like none of my clothes fits. Um, but I'm always either like in leggings, dresses, jumpsuits, like comfortable jumpsuits. That's all I wear. I love blush. I feel like sometimes I overdo it, but I don't care. I love, I feel like blush is like one of my favorite, favorite things. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. I don't know what to do with my hair. I bought this. Um, what is this? This bedhead wave wave affair um waver thing. So I think I'm gonna try that out and see how that works. I'm gonna put some mascara in my oh damn, I'm not even done my bottom freaking eyeshadow on my bottom lashes. Okay, so do a little bit here. Anybody else make stupid faces when are we doing like either putting on mascara or doing your little eyeshadow at the bottom? I don't know why the hell I always open my mouth. Like I'm like, what the fuck? Like why do you do that? But I always do it. Like it's a freaking habit. I don't know why. It's so annoying. I look stupid as fuck, but I still do it. Look, you see? Like, fuck! Like, I always do it. I don't know why. It's so annoying. You know what? Fuck it. Like, it's just something that my body does automatically. I'm just like... <laughs> Let's see. Mascara. 
hopefully this video wasn't too like boring i'm so sorry like i said i haven't recorded in a while so i'm still like how do i do this <laughs> I haven't even tried my acai bowl. Mm -hmm. I have bananas, pineapple, raspberries, kiwi, blueberries, strawberries, granola, and acai. It's so good. So, so bad. Here we go. It came out. Yeah, so my next video will probably be like a baby shower update. Um, I've been looking up, uh, I've been looking up games, and I've been buying like the gifts for like the games and stuff. So I'll probably do like a video giving ideas of like what kind of like gifts you could give to people that I think they will actually want and appreciate. Um, I'm doing a diaper raffle and stuff like that so I created like a basket um for whoever wins the diaper raffle so yeah like I'll probably record that um getting everything ready and you know getting ready for the shower the decorations and all that and then you know I'll record the actual shower hopefully I'm about to see what I do with my hair let me go ahead and show you guys my little bump Let's see. Uh. So yeah, guys, this is my bump. I do feel huge. This is what I look like right now. It's, I'm telling you guys, my stomach's so hairy. I do have stretch marks from my other pregnancies. It has grown so much because I'm going to try to enter a picture here of what I looked like last month. And no, like it literally like popped out, but I'm going to change, get ready and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so clearly this whole hair thing didn't quite work out. I mean, I could kind of see tiny little waves, but shit's hard with my fucking arm hurting from the freaking vaccine that I got. It's just not going to work out. I've never had the patience to do hair. Y'all know this, I have said it before. I could do my makeup and shit, but hair, just not my strong suit. So I'm gonna let that shit go. Um, You know, just put like a little bit of this like whey oil in my hair, call it a freaking day. Um, This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing like a little dress. This is my little bump. Well, it's not so little, but this is my bump right here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I am out of breath. I am tired. I might um, include like a little, um, a little bit of clips from the ultrasound and maybe show you guys like a picture or something. Um, it all depends how it all goes. If I do end up doing that, then you guys will see that towards the end of the video. Hopefully, I will upload sooner. Um, and more constantly, um, I will try my best. Sometimes I have energy, sometimes I don't, but I am gonna try my best and just try to keep up with it because I do enjoy doing these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.